I'm just surrounded by surrounded by all stars over here. That's man. right. It's awesome. Story of my career. All right, so we got the uh, Wizards and Sixers, and no Joel Embiid. Got a small meniscus tear. He's day to day. Ben Simmons. Not day to day. Now to now. Bradley Beal for three. Pretty tight first half in this game. Dwight Howard's got the feet up top. Game say it, tied Kenny, at say it, Kenny. after one. Superman is on. Oh, no. <laughs> Beal there. Oh, give me that. Candy. Yep, Tyrese Maxey. This kid's been really good off the bench for now. He's got some food. Ben Simmons. And one. Missed the free throw. He was five out of eight from the line. In oh, this better game. job. Danny, Ten great. out of 28 from the line in the series. Big game for Ben. Triple double. Yep. 65 63, halftime. Sixers on top. Westbrook. Hey, Brody. 24 8 and 10 for us. Tobias Harris, wide open three. Man, tough all series, man. What do you want me to take Ben out the game? 28, 9, and 6. Simmons ahead oh. of the pack there. They had a 38, 31 third quarter. Opened up a nine-point lead going to the fourth. Maxi. Maxi again. Haven't seen a Seth Curry play yet. Mm, sure on. to see more of those. The guy had 30. He had 30. Oh. Career playoff high and a season high 30 for Doc's son-in-law. Oh, where, where the seal on Ben? Oh. Simmons had 19, 10, and 11. That's the third postseason triple double for Ben, who had four in the regular season. When I see S. Curry, I'm always thinking of the other one, to get 30 and all that. Yeah. <laughs> 119 to 112. Um, in the Eastern Conference semis for the third time in the last four years, where they will, well, I'm not going to tell you who they're going to face yet because I want that highlight to still come but they are 43 and 3 when they lead after three and for the third time in the series they shoot better than 50 percent that's a lot of information but i'm sure stephanie ruddy has even more without mvp finalist joel and the philadelphia 76ers win and advance to the second round of the playoffs they had six players score in double digits led by seth curry's 30 points and ben simmons triple double you know we've had to play without joel uh for a whole lot of games. The game before this was a it was an adjustment that had been made and it kinda happened really quick on the fly. Um, but in today's game you saw that adjustment really be made fully out there for, for what was gonna work for us. I really believe they believed that they were better today. You know, like they were the better team. I I, I thought they they played with that type of confidence. Um, I tell you for one day of, of you know really changing, like going small. For us to execute that well, um, it just tells you how focused they were. It was what you would call a all hands in team win for sure. So they get the winner of the Hawks Knicks series and Marv Albert there at the garden. Ways to call this along. one in person. Yeah, so many great moments that he's called Ice there. Trip. Yeah, and uh, Julius Randle. And get Randall that out of here. early on with a follow. Oh. Clint Capella did some yapping before game five. That's because he can it back up. it up, Ronnie. Yep, 14 points, 15 rebounds. Game tied after one. Ooh. John Collins. I like John Collins. Hard not to. I like this guy right here, too. They led at the there half. It is. It's, uh, shifty. They led at the half 52-47. Oh, yeah, they led at the half of every game in the series. And you saw Julius Randle kind of drop the ball on Young and then uh, a little bump from uh, Stick up for Noel your man, Solomon. and Solomon Hill said, I got a bump for you, too. Stick up for and, your man, and, and remember what that was. I didn't score in the first half. Well, I didn't score in the first half either. <laughs> no, that was, yo, you mess with my my guy. Oh, I I'm know messing that. with you, bro. I'm just playing with you. I, Come on. I just had to add to it. I know. You did. All right. Let's go to third quarter. Oh, he can yeah. shoot that bitch. Yeah. Ah. His only three of the game, however. Yeah. That's all he needed, Ernie. DeAndre Hunter. He played great tonight. Yes, he did. He did. Play solid, solid, real solid. Oh, oh, oh. Shit, Trey. oh. what you gonna do now? Spit yeah. on me? Yeah. After I'm yeah. busting you up, what you gonna do now? Hey, man. Trey's enjoying every bit of that environment, bang, bang. man. Bang! 
He had 18 points through three quarters and threw in 18 more in the fourth. I love it. I love it. Mm. 36, four, oh, snatch back. Oh, come here. Snatch back. Bang. Oh. oh. Snatch back. Oh. No, oh. not leaving early. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Spike Lee left early, too. Well, he came hey, this, back. Though. This was the one. He came back in. Bang. Uh. Oh, I, got you, Mike Breen. I got you, Mike Breen. On hey, Broadway. Hey, there you go. Thank you, Bob. I love that right there. How about it? 103 to 89. The Atlanta Hawks win the series. Don't be sad, Kenny. Kenny, <laughs> Kenny, you all right over there? <laughs> I, I, hey, look, man, that's not my Knicks. My for Knicks are Joe Frazier, Earl Monroe, David Busher, Bill Bradley, Dick uh, Barnett. First Reed, series Joe win Monday. since 2016 for the Hawks. Uh, and it comes against a team that swept them in the regular season. Uh, they win it 103 to 89. And um, what do you say we hear from Marv and uh, Reggie talking to Ice Trey after the game? Trey, I want you to know with all the wonderful things you did today, Reggie Miller loved the bow <laughs> at the end of the game. Appreciate it. It was Appreciate like you were on Broadway. Yeah, it's, you know, it's a lot of shows around here. That's what they do when the show is over. So yeah. we, we on Broadway. <laughs> Trey, Clint said we were coming into this building to send the Knicks on vacation. What was the mindset from you guys as players? What was it going to take? Uh, I mean, a full 48 minutes. Uh, we knew. We knew we needed to get us back. I mean, we, we here together, and we knew it was going to be a tough environment. And uh, I'm just proud of the way we fought, I mean, all 48 minutes. So these guys are going to meet in the playoffs for the first time since 1982. Sixers took two out of three in the regular season. I'm looking at it game by game. The one the Hawks won in Atlanta early January. Tobias Harris didn't play. Uh, Seth Curry didn't play. Ben didn't play, and uh, and, the, and then the two games in Philadelphia, Trey Young didn't play in one of those. Sixers won both of them. Um, so, given the uncertainty of Joel Embiid, how do you look at this series, well, which starts Sunday, by the way? Without Joel Embiid and this Hawks team being a different team, a playoff team, that they should be different. I like their focus. I like the way they play, how they play together. And, and, and Ice Trey has grown up. Last year, we called him a jock. All he wanted to do was similar to my favorite player, Steph Curry, but he wasn't making them, so we called him a jock. But now, under the tutelage of Nate McMillan, he's a true point guard. He's controlling the game, he's controlling the pace. He didn't have a great game today, but he still put up 30. And then, you know, when it's time to, you know, challenge him, he always accepts the challenge, he steps up. I'm gonna go on a record and say, without Joel Embiid, Atlanta Hawks will beat the Philadelphia 7 I think I, you guys can talk. I need to write that <laughs> one down right here. <laughs> Kenny? Well, the one thing that, uh, well, he said without Joel Embiid. Yeah, yeah. without Joel Embiid. They're, they're, without Joel Embiid, they, they probably are a more talented team. Uh, but do, are they more experienced um, at all the positions? I doubt it. Uh, you know, it's going to be an interesting series in this regard because I'm going to say Joel is playing. And um, I don't know if Clint Capella will have the freedom to run the lanes because he has to stay home longer. <clears throat> so when you're playing against Joel Embiid, you, you don't have the luxury of when the shot goes up and kind of leaning to sprint out. You got to box this dude out. You, so now you're a little bit more in the half court. So I think that will take away a little bit of the point production from Capella. I think the second thing is, uh, who's going to guard Tobias Harris? Uh, because here's a guy. My main man, John Collins. Yeah, what John, are you saying? Listen, John Collins is a very good um, post defender, but Tobias Harris can move to the perimeter and, and do things off the dribble. DeAndre Hunter. I'm just saying. Okay. But that's a rookie. You know, that's a young player. This is a guy who is on the verge of being an all-star, should have been this year, and didn't make it. So that, th those are the questions. And then, lastly but not least, you know, Ben Simmons. Uh, because Trey Young now has to move over and probably guard Danny Green. Mm -hmm. So that puts uh, your man Davich on Ben Simmons. Like, they are, there are some real matchup problems that the Hawks will have. That will be distinguishedly different. 
I don't know who guards Ben Simmons on that team and can keep him out of the paint. I'm not sure who that is. Well, do you have an answer for that? I don't know. I don't, I'm not sure. If you were coaching the team, who would you put on? I think they have a couple guys. I think you can, you can go DeAndre Hunter. Okay. Or you can go John Collins. Can they stop Ben Simmons? I don't think either one of them can stop him. Mm. But you can't put those two guys on him. But I have a little plot twist here. If Joel does play and he has a, a meniscus tear, how is he going to fare guarding a pick and roll with Trey Young? Because that can change the series. Yeah. And can he get up and down that floor? See, Joel, he, he kind of plays at his pace. And if Trey Young is pushing that tempo as he controlled the, the pace of the game like he did this series, that can get tough. That's, what, that's why Danny Green is there. You know, that's been his job for every championship that he's been on. And, and he's he, done that. And he's done it. He's like, I got to guard the guys who and slow them down, and, and we'll see if he can do a better job than the New York Knicks have done.